With Tesla's latest announcement, are they entering the eVTOL space? And what are the links with Archer and Joby Aviation? Let's talk. Right, guys. So, my name's Ian. I am one of the Hustle Brothers. Do smash that like and away in. We don't run ads anymore. But for anyone that don't know and that is just invested in Tesla, I'm going to do a 30-second rundown of what both Archer and Joby Aviation actually are. So, they're an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Archer have the Midnight, where Joby has the S4. Now, both of these carry four passengers and a pilot and they look to take trips from 30 to 45 minutes all the way down to 10 minutes. Archer's headed by Adam Goldstein, where Joby's headed by Joe Ben Bever. Now, what's the importance tying this in with Tesla? We need to go back about three weeks ago, where Archer Aviation was at the UP Summit, where Tesla was also in attendance. Adam Goldstein, CEO of Archer Aviation, put out this tweet saying more hell yes from the UP Summit with Midnight and the Cybercab and the Optimus Robot all in the one caption. It did spark hype across the industry. And then with that Roadster announcement, many, including myself, thought that was a rotor for an eVTOL. But we still thought the links were there. And this is why. So today, it's going across X about the new RoboTaxi updates. And it does link them to Archer and Joby Aviation. So let me tell you why. So you need to know a little bit behind the infrastructure behind these air taxis. They are using vertiports, and these are more or less short bus stops for your eVTOLs. Now, with these vertiports, they are going to be designed to be all around cities, but also in strategic locations like airports. Now, they're designed for you to go into the vertiport, fly to your destination over traffic, and then you're landed at your gate ready to board the plane. Yes, no traffic, no terminals. It's an easy mode of access. Now, we're going to dive into today's announcement with RoboTaxi and how that fits into both Archer and Joby and why we think there may be a link there or is it just fluff. So let's get right onto it. So first off, we had Sawyer put out that Tesla's RoboTaxi app will soon allow you to select an airline and will automatically find the exact terminal and door you need to get to. The app will also guide you from baggage claim directly to the pickup curb. Now, when you dive into this, we're looking at the select airlines. Now, this is what's really important. Focus on the top three. Delta Airlines is the partner to Joby Aviation. Southwest Airlines, partner to Archer Aviation. United Airlines, partner to Archer Aviation. And it makes you think, will you get your RoboTaxi to a vertiport, which will then fly you to the gate, or is RoboTaxi cutting out the eVTOL lane completely? We will dive into that. So that's just an overview of the airline. So now let's see exactly what updates the app has said. And then has Elon said anything that may give us a few hints? So Tesla app updates for iOS did share this. So really, it's designed for airport pickup and drop off. So the latest RoboTaxi app update just dropped a game changer, the complete code base for airport pickup and drop off. Well, airports like Austin are already inside the geofence, this new code is the final piece needed to enable full terminal service. This update moves the feature from in theory to ready for activation. Now, at the moment, I'm not seeing nothing about eVTOLs. So the airline picker, this new airline picker built from Alicon airline picker strings is designed to solve the imprecision of a manual pin drop in a complex multi-level airport environment. So it says, head in to or from the airport, the app will prompt you to select your airline. RoboTaxi will then use data to automatically determine the exact terminal and door. This removes the guesswork often associated with airport ride hauling. So jumping across, you're looking at all your different airline terminals. Now, the only thing that does strike me there is you're getting Hawaiian Airlines, Alaskan Airlines, Zip Air Tokyo, Spirit Air Canada. Yes, you have United Airlines, but... Valaris, that's nothing to do with Archer Joby Aviation. So, looking, walking directions, they are common. Buried in the code, they found walk container module. That's the developer speaker for in app walking guidance, likely designed to route you from baggage claim directly to the designated RoboTaxi pickup curb. Think Google Maps, but inside the airport and tailored to your flight. Now, I've just said with your vertiports, it's going to fly you directly to the gate. So why do you need to be walking around the airport? Big question there. 
So, why it matters. This isn't theory. As of September, we know that Tesla's actively initiate an engagement with major airports like San Jose, SFO, and Oak to get necessary permits, while Austin is already geofenced. This new code is key to unlocking terminal curb access. This update means the technical foundation is built. Once Tesla gets the green light from the airport authorities, this integrated system would enable Robo Taxi to manage the entire curb to gate journey, a clear step towards highly scalable service. This development signals Tesla's clear intention to compete directly with ride hailing services for the airport transportation market. And it doesn't look good for eVTOLs. So then jumping across to what Elon Musk actually said, he said you can now have a self driving Tesla take you to SGC Airport. So my big thing about the whole experience here is RoboTaxi is going to take full responsibility from the start of your journey right to the airport terminal, give you guidance around the airport, and then you get on your plane. Once you get off your plane, it gives you guidance to your Tesla curb pickup outside the terminal and takes your weight on your journey. This completely skips out vertiports. So guys, yes, we can get excited by seeing Delta Airlines, Southwest Airlines, United Airlines, but I think some people are scanning over the fact that multiple airlines are being mentioned here. To me, I don't want to be bearish. I am so invested in this whole eVTOL space, but to me, this is a dead rumor. Do jump into the comments if you completely disagree with me. Also, smash the like button while you're in there. And if you want to hear more about eVTOLs, do check out this video next.